Hi, I'm Tom at TV, and this is my comic shop. Comics, cards, and collectibles. I know quite a bit about comics, probably more than the average collector. And I bet there's some stuff I know that you didn't. So here it is, 103 things that you maybe didn't know about comic books. Hope you like it. How are we doing today? Welcome to another Things You May Not Know About Comic Books. You caught me sitting the way I usually do in the comic shop because I have to rest up. I have to conserve my energy because running a comic shop is a very, very taxing... Okay, I can't even finish that without talking. It's the easiest job in the world. Ask anybody. Okay, so anyway, we're here to talk about something you may not know about comics. Now, if you think back all the way to the first episode we ever did about this, we talked about Captain Marvel and how that character's facial features were based on a real-life person, Fred McMurray. You all saw that episode, and if you didn't go back and watch it, even though I just ruined it. But what if I were to tell you that there was a real-life person who based his, whatever you want to call character, on a comic book character. And on top of that, it wasn't just any character, it was a member of the Captain Marvel family. That's right, there was another couple people who had powers by saying Shazam. There was the three Lieutenant Marvels, and there was Mary Marvel, Billy Batson's sister. But there was also Freddie Freeman, who was their friend. And he didn't get his powers by saying Shazam, he got his powers by saying the name of his hero, Captain Marvel. So he would say Captain Marvel and he would turn into Captain Marvel Jr. Unfortunately, Captain Marvel Jr. could never introduce him to anybody because if he said, I am Captain Marvel, and didn't even say Jr. yet, he'd be flashed back to Freddie Freeman. But that's another story for another day. In any case, this is what Captain Marvel Jr. looked like right here. Now it turns out, Back in 1941, and for a few years after, I'm sure, there was a young man from Tupelo, Mississippi, who used to read comic books and swap them with his next door neighbor. And he started reading and really liked Captain Marvel Jr. comics. So much so that Mr. Elvis Presley started trying to cultivate the same sort of look, the dark hair, the kind of sad eyes. And that is who Elvis Presley tried to base his overall look on, was Captain Marvel Jr. Want more proof of that? Everybody knows that Elvis Presley's famous insignia was the TCB, taking care of business. But if you look at any TCB, you only see a lightning bolt. Wow. Does the lightning bolt look familiar at all? Yeah, it was the Shazam lightning bolt. And there's something I bet you didn't know about comics. If you like this, please pass it along, share it, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, you write us a letter, tell us what you didn't like about it. Send us a message. We'll listen to anything. I read them all, honest. 